Today, I'm putting all 32 NFL teams into one giant do-or-die tournament. Will Mahomes and the Chiefs continue their dominance of the league? Will super rookie Caleb Williams make his first splash for the Bears? Will this at all reflect what we're about to see in the upcoming NFL season in real life? I mean, probably not. Uh, it's Madden after all, so take this all with a grain of salt. To seed our tournament bracket, I simulated one season with injuries turned off on Madden 25. In the AFC, the Chiefs indeed won 15 games. They killed it at 9-8 both the Dolphins and Texans disappointed. The Browns as well in the basement at 5-12. and 12, Kind of surprising. In the NFC, the top end looks accurate. However, the Vikings and Saints winning double-digit games is weird. And th the Lions went 6-11. and 11. What? Overall, with just a few exceptions, of course, that actually looked pretty good. Well done, Madden. I'll say that now. Of course, I tossed the teams in that order onto our bracket. And we'd start in the top left region with four AFC matchups, including the Chiefs in action, Bengals, Broncos, that should be good. Let's go. I am always in favor of upsets in these videos. The 1 versus 16 matchup though, 92 overall Kansas City versus 80 overall New England. That's, a, I think Kansas City should probably win. Okay, the Patriots are about to, they're settling for a field goal here. They're only down 10 late in the fourth quarter. I'm not sure what's happening here, but uh, thankfully for Chiefs fans and for all our sanity, uh, it, it wasn't a comeback. All right, New England made it interesting. Drake May threw for 272 yards, but order remains intact in this universe the Chiefs win. okay this game was outrageous Dolphins win our second matchup of the video 41-19 a blowout sure look at this in the fourth quarter Anthony Richardson a touchdown that brought the Colts to within I think three before Miami would rattle off a Raheem Mostert TD a Tyreek TD a Devon H and TD and just like that it was a blowout I don't know how the Colts were the favorite in this game they were the eight seed but the Dolphins the Dolphins are so good man I assume we're heading for another blowout here another favorite winning with the Buffalo Bills are uh, uh, an 80 five overall that seems kind of low Th does anyone else think that's kind of low whether you agree or not madden isn't high on this bills team and it showed in their first matchup as the titans were hanging with the afc heavyweights even responding to a late josh allen td with a clutch drive of their own tennessee wasn't going down without a fight and by clutch drive uh, i mean clutch drive will levis has the titans obviously in field goal position can they close this out with a touchdown a fumble no no tennessee no they are indeed reviewing it okay 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 what's gonna happen here? okay madden is a very broken game i didn't get to see a replay of the fumble also there's only 17 seconds left on the clock uh just it's it's broken i don't know what you want from me tony pollard is gonna get stuffed but he got the first down and after tony got stuffed looks like the titans are gonna settle the bills tried icing the kicker but looks like he splits the uprights to tie the game dude i just jumped into the overtime sim cast uh the bills scored a touchdown on the first play josh allen to Curtis Samuel. He got injured. <laughs> what, what just happened? I know it's anticlimactic, but this game is so glitchy with the super sim that I have to uh, uh I have to do it this way in OT. Otherwise, the game will probably glitch. Tennessee ties it the up. The Bills take back possession. Looks like they are marching third, fourth, and 14. Oh no, they punt. And what just happened? Wait, what just wait, what? Uh, they got a safety? What in the world am I seeing? Okay, I'll admit it. My first jumping into a clutch finish game on Madden 25 didn't go very smoothly, but in OT, the team's traded touchdowns and then buffalo won the game on a safety um i mean sure we got the outcome buffalo probably should have won this matchup but that was just something else to witness and watch i hope our next one goes a bit smoother than that okay here we go again we're jumping right into our next matchup and it's in the clutch the four seed Bengals are kind of in trouble against the bronco never mind i take that all back first down zach moss an insanely ugly game the Bengals and broncos have combined for two total touchdowns does since he go for the kill here uh yeah okay no good stop denver it's not over and for whatever reason this super sim is actually going smoothly they're not wasting too much clock uh zach moss is gonna get stopped short again but it's all good in the nick of time during a cutscene, madden did let the Bengals call a timeout perfect great execution on a game-winning drive evan mcpherson connects for the win and a pretty unadventurous first region of our tournament with the chiefs dolphins bills and Bengals advancing yeah that could not have been more predictable man all good though as we head to the bottom left region of our bracket i see a bunch of afc north teams oh okay Okay, sure, the Jets. Maybe they get upset by the Raiders. The opening game of this region would actually be a nice little upset. Maybe a bit surprising the Steelers were a six seed, but uh, despite a late Russell Wilson TD toss, Jacksonville secured the W. I thought we could have another upset or at least a tight finish as the Ravens and Browns clashed in a rivalry battle. Unfortunately, it was all Baltimore. Newcomer Derrick Henry rushed for four TDs. This game was never close. I'm not sure if I'm more shocked at Madden's disrespect for the Texans or their 
their glazing of the Chargers. But with a healthy Justin Herbert under center, LA dominated Houston with Herbert outgunning CJ Stroud. And speaking of glazing, to round out the bottom left region, the two seed New York Jets, uh, no, they did not choke. They feasted on the Raiders a very easy wire to wire victory. Again, I'm not sure how the Steelers were a six seed there, but Jacksonville handled business, Baltimore, the charge. I, the, the Texans being a first round exit is super disappointing, man. But there is our first round of the left side of our bracket, aka the AFC. Time to head over to the NFC in the top right region. Let's do it. Yo, I want to give a huge shout out to Underdog Fantasy for continuing to support my channels. The NFL season is literally right around the corner. It's basically right on top of us, which means Underdog is popping. They are innovating as per usual. They just dropped a brand new feature called Tokens, which long story short, allows you more versatility and diversity when building out your pick'em entries, applying different promos, different payout boosters. It's just, they continue pushing the envelope. If you've never signed up, there are always new customer specials as well. They will match your first deposit up to $1,000. That's just, it does not get better than that. If you were ever considering signing up for Underdog, never a better time to do it than right now. Please use code JCAN. My link and more info is down below. Cowboys Giants to kick things off the one versus 16 seed. We love a good battle. NFC East division rivalry. The only problem is the Giants are absolutely terrible. And they're up 10 nothing at halftime, of course. What is wrong with you, Madden? What the hell is going on? Dak Prescott, a 26-yard touchdown pass to Luke Schoonmaker. Dallas is still down. It's the fourth quarter. Oh, guess what? Um, Daniel Jones just threw an interception. Okay. But um, 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 also, guess what? I don't what am I seeing? This game is in overtime. I don't even like I don't even hate the Cowboys like a lot of people do. I don't want this to happen because people will be complaining about it in the comment section forever. What is happening? Third and five, the Giants are at least walking away with three from this possession. Dallas defense. You got so many playmakers out here. You got to make a play back at the end zone. Malik neighbors. No, what? Oh, my word. Incomplete. What just that? No, we are inspecting this slow motion. One foot, two foot. Whoa. Oh, there you go. Okay, they're booth reviewing it. That was a catch. And it was. Okay, they don't show an animation again. It's Wait, what? Why is the game... Oh, no. I'm used to college OT rules. I thought the Cowboys... It's first possession touch. Oh, my gosh. Um. Okay, I am in shambles right now. Okay, I need to deke... What did I just witness? A 16 seed taking down a one seed. The Giants by six in overtime. Madden is so glitched, it's not even showing the game-winning touchdown in the scoring summary. It says the game is still tied but giant fans i got you like we all saw it. malik neighbors had nine for 94 he actually had 10 receptions it's literally not counting his touchdown at the end this game is unbelievable dog but he scored the touchdown it was overturned correctly like he had both feet in bounds i was thinking of college ot rules but no that meant the game was over truly never a dull moment when you make a video on madden 25 well any version of madden for that matter uh the one seed cowboys are out the right side of our bracket is wide open as the bears go up early and believe it or not that early touchdown, the only one on the board. Another super ugly game. The Bears defense is locking down. This could be it. Fourth down for the Rams. Stafford going deep and he connects with Cooper Cup. That is so clutch. Kyron finishes off the drive. We are going, I think we're heading to OT again. Wait, please allow me to chill. 15 seconds and counting. Why are the Bears not taking timeout? It's because Madden sucks. 10 seconds. Caleb Williams, some magic brother over the bed. Oh my gosh. He did it. He hit Keenan Allen. Get down. I foolishly thought this game might be over. Nah, Caleb Williams had like one minute left or 45 seconds left on the clock. Two completions, including the 300 pound Keenan Allen. And that is a game winning field goal pending one final, uh, one final hail, hail Mary. I'm sure from the Rams. I am vamping, waiting to see what Stafford can do. He's got a nice pocket. He's did he just throw that out of bounds? He might, he just, well, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's not complete is the point. And the bears nice, not technically an upset. They were the eight seed in this matchup, but that's a nice W regardless. It wasn't necessarily pretty, but 239 and one from Caleb Williams plus making the plays down the stretch. I still have no idea how the Vikings simulated to being the five seed in the NFC, but a pretty resounding victory over Jaden Daniels and the Commanders. And to round out this region, I'm calling my shot. The Lions are winning this game. How are they the 13 seed in the NFC, Madden? I, I know y'all about to make this right. Yeah, I know ball, I fear. Khalif Raymond, a touchdown catch from Jared Goff. Detroit up 10, and they end up winning by 14. I mean, that was so obvious, Brad. And in our top right region, two upsets the Lions and the Giants. I mean, only one of those is really shocking. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, Cowboy fans, but not really. Our final first round region to get to the Packers and my Seahawks. Interesting. A bunch of NFC South teams. Uh, 
Okay, we'll see how this goes. I swear to goodness, I did not rig this game, but yes, my Seahawks would upset the six seed Green Bay Packers. Geno Smith tossed for 260 yards and four TDs. Neither team played defense. I, I really am sorry, Packer fans. The 49ers would handle the Panthers in the Christian McCaffrey Bowl by a score of 38-28. Ironically, the exact same score as Packers Seahawks. I mean, that's weird. Despite simulating as a playoff team, the Tampa Bay Bucks would get absolutely dismantled by their division rival as Kirk Cousins and the Falcons advance. And we'd round out the NFC first round with another favorite advancing. Jalen Hurts threw three TDs, ran for another as his Eagles trounced the lowly Cardinals. I mean, it was light work. Two more double digit seeded teams in the NFC advancing. I know y'all are gonna say I rigged it, but whatever, man, the Seahawks won. It is what it is. As we move on to our sweet 16 for the entire bracket, definitely more chaos going on in the NFC side of the bracket, but uh, let's get back to the AFC where we've got some juggernauts. Beginning with the Dolphins and Chiefs. Are you serious? I can't believe we're about to lose one of these two teams. And not only oh, am I losing one of these two teams, we don't even get a clutch finish. The Dolphins, I guess they, they aren't quite ready, man. The Chiefs absolutely dominating them. Oh, that's a bad hit on Tua, man. Chris Jones, an exclamation point sack. I mean, this game, it was never close. Patrick Mahomes, 393 and two. Maybe our next banger matchup will be a tight finish. As we've got Bengals, Bills, the 4 five seed matchup in the AFC. Oh no, Josh Allen passed to Keon Coleman for an 11 yard touchdown. That gave the Bills a 28 point lead. Cincinnati scored one garbage time touchdown of their own. And just like that, we've got Bills Chiefs in the top left region of our bracket. I mean, that's cool. I just, I, I can't believe these were both blowouts. I hate to see it. That blowout streak would finally come to an end as Baltimore and Jacksonville treated us to a classic. A Lamar TD toss to Nelson Aguilar in the fourth was answered by a 70 plus yard bomb from Trevor Lawrence to Christian Kirk to tie it up late. However, the Jags have left Lamar and Baltimore with a minute 17 left. They've got the ball, obviously just needing a field goal. They've got all three timeouts. They've got a first down to Mark Andrews coming out of the backfield. We're at 45 seconds remaining. They're still in great shape. They've got the goat kicker on their side. Lamar, no. Oh, I was worried he might take a sack. Nah, he rushes for the first. I don't want to jinx it, but Madden, this is a pretty smooth looking uh, two minute huddle offense run here by the Ravens. Lamar now almost at midfield. Lots of time. Wow, he's going deep. He's going deep and he connects to Zay Flowers inside the 20. And with five seconds left on the clock, the Jags did try and ice Justin Tucker, but come on, bruh. You, you can't ice the GOAT Justin Tucker for the win. 27-24, Baltimore indeed advances. Will the Jets make it a very predictable final four in the AFC, four of the top five seeds? Let's find out. Oh no. Oh no, the Chargers down only six. The Jets, they've not won this game third and four. This would be a massive stop. This is the game. Oh, a nice little screenplay. Oh, he bounces off a tackler. Was that J.K. Dobbins? That was so clutch. The ball is off to Gus Edwards, who totes it in for a touchdown. Oh my goodness. No, in Chargers fashion, I think they're going to choke away. They're almost clutch victory. Aaron Rodgers to Tyler Conklin. Old man, a Aaron in the clutch. I mean, I I'm showing confidence in him. He's going to get the job done, probably. I don't know. How's that Achilles feeling, Aaron? He's uh, slinging it again to the side. Wow, what a dog. What a freaking dog. Aaron trusting rookie Malachi Corley in the clutch there. In field goal position. Probably just hand this thing off to Brees Hall and let him carry you home. Uh, tackled in the backfield, though. Oh, this time he's not. This time he is not. Brees Hall for the first down and then some. He's going to go ahead and score. This is going to be the final play of the game. We're watching it Simcast style. I do not care. And that's that's the yeah. game. The Chargers end up losing. So close, but so far Down away. to just four teams remaining now in the AFC, the left side of our bracket. The Chargers almost threw a wrench into the plans, but uh, not quite. As we move to the NFC, do we see some more underdogs advance? 16 seed Giants, I'm looking at you. It literally couldn't get more underdog. Man, when I mentioned Caleb Williams in the intro, I didn't actually think it would come to fruition, him making a great run in this video, but uh, avoiding the Cowboys in the second round, beating up on the poor Giants. Good game, Caleb Williams. The Bears do advance. We're jumping right into our next matchup, the five seed Vikings. I don't know how they're doing this with Sam Darnold under center, but they're on the verge here. 
fourth down game on the line their life in this tournament on the line after an nfc championship appearance last season jared goff over the middle hit sam laporta that's big time baby just one time out remaining for the lions now do they go for the kill you know dan campbell's got the cojones he might dial up something deep that's jameer gibbs for a near first down no time out called they're into no huddle this is an interesting choice uh sam laporta in the backfield oh my word he is dialing one up deep jared goff to the end zone he connects with jameer gibbs and it's a touchdown oh my word jameer what a catch madden ruled he was in the end zone jameer gibbs uh fair enough that is a very clutch w detroit i'm not gonna lie my uh, seattle seahawk fandom is a little bit i'm a little bit shaken right now i don't think this is gonna go well wow absolutely no defense was played in this game by either team but uh, i do know ball the 49ers handle business 43 33 that is nuts and rounding out our nfc sweet 16 matchups yeah the eagles are uh they are no joke five touchdowns through the air for jalen hurts 296 kirk you, you you embarrassed yourself kirk i can't lie and with that we are off to our elite eight now in the nfc as well so crazy how the bracket works 49ers eagles is unbelievable one of those teams is going to be eliminated before the final four and you know what voice crack and all that that just seems wrong but it's gonna happen first we got to go to the afc though ah yes a tradition as old as time the chiefs and bills meeting in a super important game late in our tournament Mahomes, Kelsey, Chris Jones I mean you can see why they simulated to being the one seed maybe the best team on paper in Madden although the uh, Eagles who we'll get to in a bit they've been playing pretty well uh the Bills yeah I knew it I knew they were being disrespected I mean maybe you guys agree with these ratings it seems very low Josh Allen only in 92 okay oh my goodness Curtis Samuel a three yard rushing TD for the Bills gosh darn it God, oh my Patrick Mahomes a 50 yard touchdown to Marquise Brown. Two plays. That, that was two plays later. Mahomes just did that. I'm not having fun anymore, guys. This should have been an epic. This, oh, man. Kansas City. All right. Seven point game. I know it looks close. The Bills were literally down 28 to seven before rattling off three straight TDs and then Patrick Mahomes. One of his five touchdown passes just sealed the game late in the fourth. I don't know. Maybe in Madden 32 Buffalo, you will be better than the Chiefs, but not today. I'm finished. Okay. Now, this is another interesting matchup. The two seed Jets led by Sauce Gardner, Tyrone Smith. Uh, very good team. Yo, they got Aaron Rodgers all the way down at an 83. I guess that's fair coming off an Achilles injury. They've obviously been simulating very well, but on paper, 98 Lamar Jackson leading the three seed Ravens. I think this roster looks a little bit better. I mean, it's all just numbers. What does it really mean? Well, in this case, those numbers meant a loaded Ravens team refusing to be denied. A pair of touchdown passes in the first quarter quarter by Lamar Jackson got them off to a sizzling start and a pair of second half touchdown runs by Derrick Henry uh well put the game away this Ravens team is super special man we've got a rematch of Ravens Chiefs coming up in the final four but let's figure out our two teams advancing from the NFC this is the Chicago Bears the eight seed on the right side of our bracket uh where in the world Caleb Williams way down here at a 76 overall I've seen like six total preseason plays from the man and I know he should be higher than a 76 overall I still Still don't understand how this Lions team simulated to being the 13 seed. They do look real nice. Oh no, our Caleb Williams Chicago Bears insanity run in this video, I think is coming to an end. I mean, not quite yet. First down, DJ Moore. Out of the shotgun, empty backfield. Caleb to the end zone. He's got a dot again to DeAndre Swift. This is it though for the magical run to continue. They need to convert this. Never mind. Uh, yeah, they did not convert this on I kid. Detroit, their humble beginnings as a 13 seed. Well, they have found their way to the final four of this video where they'll be facing either these philadelphia eagles wow what a squad madden showing a ton of love hurts only an 86 overall i'm a believer in jalen hurts i think he should be a little high uh, more highly rated but that is a squad and as good as they are philly uh even they can't compete on paper with the 49ers okay uh yep this is the best roster easily the best roster better than the chiefs yes i said it in madden of course the the, the disclaimer there brock purdy an 85 overall this gargantuan battle of NFC heavyweights did not disappoint as the 49ers continually opened up two score leads in the game and the Eagles continually clawed back a high scoring affair with star power on display for both teams wire to wire and we are jumping in a minute 40 left okay Philly only one timeout left they need this stop third and four and they do not get it all right that was so easy Brandon Ayuk in the clutch and that's game
Um, okay. Well, super anticlimactic. I didn't even realize. They do hold on a bit anticlimactic, but nothing to be embarrassed about. Eagle fans, your boys balled out. Jalen Hurts did get outplayed, though. I can't lie. Brandon Ayuk went bar for bar with AJ Brown, but Debo also had an amazing game. Devontae Smith, nah, couldn't compete. Brown. And in reverse order of what we just saw, yes, the 49ers do advance off to our final four. Some good teams they beat, too. A more adventurous route to the final four for our top right region winners, the Detroit Lions, the 13 seed. Over in the AFC, we did have the Ravens outlast the Jets. And finally, the Kansas City Chiefs barely breaking a sweat. Uh, they advance to the final four, too. And it leaves us with, on our NFC side, a rematch of last year's championship game, Lions 49. Oh, it's a rematch on both sides. I am so slow. Well, um, yeah, completely predictable, obviously. I, I mean, good job, Madden. I guess you have realistic simulation. There's no chaos in this video, though. That's too bad. I straight up didn't realize until moments ago. But yeah, the Chiefs and Ravens were the AFC Championship game last year. We remember how that turned out. Baltimore's offense couldn't get it done. The Chiefs are the Chiefs. Will we have a repeat of that result? Patrick Mahomes found Sky Moore for the first touchdown of this game. Coming in the second quarter, a low-scoring tilt. Baltimore's offense finally able to move the ball just before halftime. Lamar to likely they take a lead. Wow, a clinical drive to open the second half. Baltimore killed a ton of clock. Nelson Aguilar, another clutch touchdown. Baltimore's defense bending but not breaking. There's still so much time left. We know what Mahomes and the Chiefs offense can do. But on this drive, they're settling for three. Harrison Butker. Ah, uh, fourth quarter. Yup, yup. He's turning up a six-yard touchdown run by Mahomes. They're gonna be within two in this game. But look at Lamar and the boys. I, I'm so scared I'm gonna jinx them, but it looks like they're coming through in the clutch in a big time game against Kansas City. Third and one. This touchdown would be massive and Lamar connects with his man in the end zone. Rashad Bateman. That is big time. Okay. Uh, approximately five plays later, the Chiefs have answered. How do they do it so quickly? Mahomes to Travis Swift. I mean, Kelsey. Two point game. Baltimore clinging to this lead. They have three timeouts as do the Chiefs. They've also got the two minute warning. They're going to snap. They need this first down. A read option. Keeper by scratch that. It wasn't a keeper. I know football. I'm not not a complete casual it was not a keeper he did hand it off did lamar to derrick henry for the first down and another one what is the call from john harbaugh third and four to finally put the chiefs away they need it right here they're good oh that was a good play action they got me lamar could run instead he's dishing to mark andrews clutch staying in bounds that's gonna be the game thankfully we're not just having a super bowl rematch in this video 286 and three for lamar jackson not only getting the w but outplaying patrick mahomes in the process. I mean, Derrick Henry, though, my guy, 16 for 132 and one, just a dominant performance. Baltimore did their part preventing this video from ending in a Super Bowl rematch. Can Detroit do a little something similar here against the 49ers? That's a pretty good start. Jared Goff, Jamison Williams, Detroit has the first score of the game. Unsurprisingly, San Fran with an answer, Christian McCaffrey. Who else? Uh-oh, Jared Goff to Amon Ross St. Brown to open the second half. Detroit up two scores. Oh, but that two score advantage is about to be wiped out completely. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. I mean, this would need to be a heroic stand by the Lions defense. And that's Christian McCaffrey, folks. And this could be game right here. I know it's too early to say so, but under three minutes left, third down, the Lions need one. Jared Goff dropping back to the end zone. He completes it. Amon Ross St. Brown in the clutch again. Nope, I lied. That was Khalif Raymond, not Amon Ra. Oh, I'm such a casual. This is a huge play once again. The Lions going for two. Okay, uh... Wait a minute. What? Oh, I thought San Fran might have stopped Jameer, uh, Jameer Gibbs, but they didn't. Oh my goodness. Jack Campbell sacking Brock Purdy, an eight-yard loss. And just like that, another third down potentially for the game. The 49ers on third and 18. I mean, it's four down territory. They need a chunk of this uh, or the whole thing, George Kittle, my word. Importantly, San Fran uses their second timeout, so only one remaining. Purdy's going to drop back. He's going to sling it. He's going to find Debo. Oh, that's way too easy. Debo's a monster. Final timeout burn by the 49ers. They've got a couple shots at the end zone here. Of course, they need it and they're gonna get it. Brock to Debo. Too easy. Dan Campbell would never. I mean, you needed two chunk plays. That, wow. That's actually what Madden. I'm disappointed. Detroit needs to stop. They've got him third and one. Nah, the 49ers convert. They've got him third and seven. The 49ers convert. They've got him third and ten and the 49... Oh, a penalty. Wow. The 49ers low-key bailed third and nine. Uh-oh. You're gonna give that feisty uh, Lions offense a chance to score touchdown purdy dropping back lots of look at this clean pop 
Oh my goodness, what did I just see? Just a terrible sack. Madden, that is such bad AI, man. Detroit takes over. They can win this game. Oh my gosh. In like 2.3 seconds, the Lions have themselves a fourth down. It's manageable fourth and five. San Francisco can finally win this game right here, right now. Jared Goff, also lots of time and wow, good catch. This game is taking approximately all the hours, dude. It's, it's a marathon here, but we're gonna have an epic finish. I know it, either a touchdown here from the Lions or a walk-off 49ers defense swap what they had a free rusher at golf but couldn't get there laporte is going to be short of the first down no you've got to be kidding me. no what they're settling for a feet no dan campbell madden what are you doing to the lions i promise you all i didn't even register that as an option i i mean okay all right they forced a three and out um we're into the second ot no no what no. What? They won? What just happened? Oh my good. I missed a 99 yard touchdown pass to win the game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. GG. GG. Madden, you win. You win. I should have been watching. I don't know how or when that happened. I'm, I, <laughs> Lion fans, I know you're mad you didn't get to see that, but look at your boy, Jared Goff. Five touchdowns, 547 yards. What in the world? Classic case of my impatience getting the best of me. We missed out on a 99 yard touchdown, but you know what? It still happened. Lions fans, your boys are into the championship final of this video against the Baltimore Ravens. From simulating out to be the 13th seed in the NFC, the Detroit Lions have marched epically in clutch fashion all the way to the Super Bowl championship final of our tournament. Where indeed they're taking on the Baltimore Ravens, the three seed out of the AFC who vanquished their foes in the Kansas City Chiefs. Man, both these teams deserve to be right here right now. The Baltimore Ravens were simply not messing around this video. They took ball and finished their first drive with yet another Nelson Aguilar TD reception from Lamar Jackson. After the Lions mustered just a field goal out of their first possession, the Ravens once again chewed an insane amount of clock before Derrick Henry punched one in from a yard out. Detroit wasn't dead, though. A clinical drive resulted in a Jamison Williams 10-yard touchdown catch from Jared Goff, and a rare missed field goal from Justin Tucker threatened to swing momentum. David Montgomery barged into the end zone to give the Lions their first lead of the game in the third quarter. Derrick Henry had the answer, his second short TD run. Monty would nab his second TD run of the game as this battle continued swinging back and forth. A stop from the Lions defense would set up a field goal made to put them up six late in the fourth quarter. Please, Madden, don't do anything dumb. Just let these teams play this game out. I need to see the finish. What a battle it's been. Lamar dropping back Derrick Henry in pass protection. That's a short completion to Isaiah Likely. No huddle offense from the Ravens down to 45 seconds. Dude, you need some urgency right here. Right there it is. Mark Andrews. Mandrews over the... Did he fumble? I think he fumbled. I'm so confused. They said that call was reversed. I think they meant it's not a fumble. It didn't change the outcome anyways. Madden, please don't screw us over Madden. Lamar, lots of time in the pocket. He finds Zay Flowers over the middle. They're going to burn another timeout. It's getting scary, dude. The Ravens, one timeout left again. They need a touchdown. Lamar, so much time. Oh, there it is. Uh, Zay Flowers, he almost breaks it. Wow, that uh, they almost scored right there. Okay, all of a sudden it becomes hopefully Baltimore doesn't score too soon. Uh, 30 seconds left they're probably going to give the lions uh one more shot at this of course that's going to oh derrick henry just got stuffed they have no timeouts no madden no baltimore please no way no they're not going to snap this ball they're not oh they do snap it lamar they should have had two plays left it's only one i think that's out of bounds i think he didn't get both feet down nelson Aguilar has been so good this whole run didn't get a second foot down and the Ravens lose. Oh, you hate to see it. Unbelievable Detroit. I mean, they well won by Detroit, but that finish was just not great. I put all 32 NFL teams into one do or die tournament. I can't say that ending was perfect, but the Detroit Lions, the 13 seed, do hold on and beat the Ravens. They win this whole thing. I was begging Madden not to screw us over with the finish to that game. They kind of did that no huddle. Uh, Baltimore had time for two plays there at the end i think even without a timeout he didn't get his second foot down that was that was bad i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry ravens fans